Welcome to the first in a series of videos. Welcome to the first in a series of videos I call Getting My Shit Together. Hello friends, it's me, Sarah. Do you remember me? I know it's been a while. How long has it been, like two weeks? It feels like it's been way longer than that. I took a little two week break from doing all of this, but I'm back now and I'm very excited to be here. Today, I am going to show you my house. Back in July, I did a mid-year check-in video and I talked about some of the things that I wanna focus on in my own life for the rest of the year. One of those things was getting rid of all of our junk, of which, there is much, much junk, so much junk. I've mentioned before, we want to move. We are ready to move on. We want to live in the mountains in just peace and quiet and nature. But to do that, we've got to get rid of our stuff. There's just so much of it and I don't want to drag it along with me. Something that I think is very important for people to understand is that Having a lot of stuff, whether or not you can see it, affects the quality of your life. Even if it's in the garage and you never go in there, it's still affecting your life. You know it's there and energetically it's affecting you. It can affect your sleep, it can affect your thoughts, it can affect your mood. And now for me, this has been going on for years. We've been collecting this stuff for years and for years, I've been having all these ideas of what I want to do in my life, um, what I want to do for work, the projects that I want to create, and just where I want my life to go. And the issue that always pops up is confusion and indecision and just overall feeling really, really scattered when it comes to focusing on actually getting things done. And I spoke with a friend of mine a few weeks ago who is an intuitive coach and we talked about the fact that having all this stuff around us, having all this stuff packed in our sheds and in the basement and in little hiding places where we put them, all of that is directly affecting my ability to focus and concentrate on creating anything new. It's energetically blocking any new blessings from coming into our life. So it's time, it's really time to buckle down. I know I made this goal back in July, but we haven't really done anything about it. But the very first thing we need to do is actually take a look at the scale of the problem and it's big. So I'm taking you on a tour of my mess. I am very nervous to show this to you, but it's, it's part of me creating my most magical life, so I'm just gonna be brave and do it. I filmed this tour back in August, I believe, but it's just taken me that long to get around to putting this video together and sharing it with you. And this is going to be the start of my getting my shit together journey. So I am going to be documenting our journey to get rid of the junk from beginning to end. I'm not gonna say this is a journey to minimalism because I'm not a minimalist, minimalish, I guess. We can call it minimalish, but yeah. It's time to get real, it's time to get serious about this and you're gonna come with me. So without further ado, let's look at all my crap. So, are you ready? Are you sure? Okay. Here you go. <laughs> mm. So I don't really know where to start. I guess I will start at the front door. So as we walk up onto the porch, we come across a bunch of stuff. This is all stuff that we had put aside to get rid of, but as it so happens, it's still just 
here. We decide to get rid of things and then it just sits on the porch. I don't know where this came from. Oh, it's really cool though. That's actually a, a tub of stuff that came out of the car. Well, we just like to take our junk and put it in boxes and move it to a different place. All right, now we come in the house. It is messy because we live here. This is a very old carrier that Rowan is way too big for. I don't even know what's in this basket. So this is just a place where I toss things when I'm trying to tidy up really fast and I intend to put it away and find homes for it, but I never do. These are some cool little cubby things that I painted. We were gonna hang them up and put all our little tchotchkes in them, but that never happened. Now it's just covered in dust, so that's cool. Random things just everywhere. This is nice. This is a table of nonsense, but there is a lot of nonsense. This is my desk that Adrian made for me recently. It's just a mess. This is a terrible workspace. I'll take you into the bedroom. Da 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 da. Hi, Luna. This is our bedroom. It's not the worst. <laughs> it's not great. Here's a fun pile of things. I don't know how this happens. This is a habit of mine. It, I just I just pile things in the corners when I don't want to deal with them at the moment and then the pile just grows and grows and grows. Anybody else do that? Does anyone have a pile? Just a random pile next to their bed? Why am I like this? Stacks of books and journals. What is this? We got baby socks, toys, solar lights. Just, just stuff. Just so much stuff. It's all these little things that make me crazy. All right, and my dresser, what? the hell. A lot of necklaces in here and even though I hung this thing up recently this was supposed to hold my necklaces obviously it's not it's just a place for hats I don't wear and for my earrings which are supposed to be hanging on the wall but instead I'm just sort of propping them on the necklace holder and look more dust of course. Do I wear these clothes? No I do not. Everything I wear right now is on this hanger. Nobody needs that many sweaters. <sighs> this is cute. I do like all of our little treasures. And as long as they're in a beautiful display like this, I don't mind. But when they're just scattered about everywhere, you don't need all that. Carrying on into the kitchen. More stuff. Stuff, 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 stuff. This is another one of those places. I mean, every place is one of those places where you just put things. Since this has no real purpose, we don't use this little counter space here. So it just it's just a place to stick things. I was gonna do something really cute with this little pantry shelf, but I never got around to it. And uh, most of it's just stuff. How many times can I say stuff? I'm gonna come back here. I swear to God, a few days ago, this was clean. This is also a place where we just put things to forget about. That's just a place we put things to forget about. The laundry area. This is important papers. You can see how important we think they are. This is one of our hiding places. Mm. I don't even know if I can get it. We just use it for the litter box and stuff. We have five guitars that no one plays. One is in the house. There's four right here that no one plays. And there's some spider webs on them. I don't know why we have five guitars that no one plays. But there's just boxes and boxes of various things. This, this, this room. There's a bunch of wing frames I have yet to finish some wings I have yet to sell because I just sort of abandoned them. Are we having fun yet? We haven't even gone outside. <sighs> Here we go. Here we go. And now we come to the back porch. <sighs> this is an area that stresses me out so much. More craft supplies sink that we need to put in the bathroom because our sink right now is cracked but it's just sitting here 
All right, this shed was here when we moved in. There's stuff on the outside of the shed. Bottles and jars that I planned to turn into cool potion bottles, but never did. Unfulfilled art projects abound in this house. And here we go. Yep. It's overwhelming. I don't know, I don't know what to do with all of it. And don't worry, there's more. This is a cool thing we made. I should probably put some shoes on. I'm just gonna put Adrian's shoes on. <laughs> if you'll be able to see anything in here, but let's try. Let's try. Maybe I'll put my... Oh, yeah. Here we go. So this is under the house. Where's the light? Let there be light. That doesn't help. <laughs> uh, yeah, here's more stuff. There are Halloween decorations clothes to get rid of that are still here, a tub of clothes to get rid of that are still here, another tub of clothes to get rid of that's still here, yeah, mostly Halloween and Christmas decorations, so that's okay, I'm not too upset about that, um, it's very, it would be very hard for me to get rid of my Halloween decorations. Oh shit. One more area I want to share. This place. Or right, guess what's in those tubs? Clothes. Yep. Tubs. That's CG. Her name is Clever Girl. That's it. That is all of our stuff. I don't even know. I don't even know where to begin. Now that I'm looking at it, it all feels even, ugh, even more heavy. And I mean, it's no, it's no wonder why I feel like we can't move forward or go and do anything adventurous or big because we're just, we're holding on to so much. We're holding on to so much weight and so much junk and so much stuff that we don't need, that we don't want, that does not serve us, that does not enrich our lives. It's just there. We're literally living on top of it. Anyway, that's the start. First step in this whole process is just admitting I have a problem and you guys can see that. Please tell me. Please tell me if you can relate to any of this. I, I want to know if you have just mountains of stuff around your house. And also, I'm curious to know, how many times did I say stuff in this video? <sighs> I hope, I hope this wasn't too boring or it didn't stress you out. I really hope it didn't stress you out because it stresses me out. I can only imagine what it, what it would do to people who, who don't live this way, who can see all this and just cringe. I cringe every time I see it. I just... I like to pretend it's not there, but it is there, and it needs to be gone, because I want to live free and unburdened, and <sighs> anyway, I will keep you updated, I'll keep this going, I want to share this whole journey of getting rid of the stuff, because it's part of living my most magical life, and I hope you will stick around. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening.